Hi guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. You will not believe it, but <laughs> I have another large flat rate box from USPS. My sister has been collecting some items for me. I think most recently I posted a few boxes that Amy arranged to have sent over for me. And this is something that my sister sent over. And what started it, as you will well be aware, is Urban Decay's Naked 2 palette. And my sister, Sweet Laney, as soon as Urban Decay launched this, she got online and she ordered herself one and also one for me. And if you're going to go to the expense of sending this from the United States over to Australia um, at the same time as beauty.com having a 20% off sale, you know, I'm in trouble with that. So I figured I may as well fill a, a large flat rate box. If you know me, that probably comes as no surprise. Um, but that is what started it. So I am very excited to show you that I do have the Naked 2 palette. And if it's like the Naked palette, it's just going to be a matter of time before we can get this in Australia fairly easy from the regular um, websites where you can get Urban Decay. There's a UK website where you can find it. Look below for the link, but I don't believe Naked 2 is available on that site yet, but I'm sure it won't be long before it is available. So I've really only used this once already, but really like the shades. You've all seen this before on YouTube um, and it does have a really nice brush that I have not used yet, but perfect for a packing on brush and a blending brush, a double-ended brush. And it does also come with a lip gloss, a little mini lip gloss that I'm not so interested in, but I'll give it a shot. I haven't used this gloss from Urban Decay before. Apparently it cools and plumps. So look out, next time you're watching, you may just see me with big, luscious, plumpy lips. Um, I will just say one of the things, the initial feedback that I have about that is that I really, one of my favorite things about the Naked palette, they do have some beautiful colors in there in the Naked original but I love that that palette has Naked and Buck and if you're familiar with that palette Naked and Buck are the two matte brown colors one's a little bit lighter one's more of a darker mid-tone but still a mid-tone perfect for just a crease color if you're after a nice matte daytime simple look but perfect as transition or blending out colors when you are wanting to blend out any harsh lines in the crease or even a smoky eye perfect for blending out a smoky eye right there above the crease i really miss that in this kit there is no sort of light to mid-tone brown for blending out instead i did use i can't remember if i used this foxy shade or this shade here but they're more highlight colors and it worked, it worked fine, but I did really miss that naked shade. And I think, you know, if there is one shade to duplicate between the two palettes, rather than, uh, which one did they do? Half-baked, I think. I would have really liked to have seen Naked being duplicated if there was one shade that they had in common. I think Naked should have been it, especially given the name of the palette and the eyeshadow shade. Anyway, so some other items that I got here. Um, this new palette from Stila, this one is called In The Moment Eyeshadow Palette. They have two new eyeshadow palettes that are like the, I think it's called the Natural Eyes or In The Light, depending on what website you see. Um, this one is the In The Moment Eyeshadow Palette. It's the one in the purple sort of um, box. And these are the shades here. Really pretty. You've got to love Stila eyeshadows. It does come with a smudge stick waterproof liner in Tetra. And um, there is also a new palette out by Stila, something about garden, in the garden or garden party. And they did not have that in stock at the time. So my sister picked this one up for me, which is fantastic. Thank you for that, Lainey. I did also get two of the Bare Minerals 8 pan palettes as well. They only do come in two shades at the moment and um, I think we had a 20% off voucher or something at Ulta so um, my sister was kind enough to pick both of them up for me. I've had a real dog of a time getting them from beauty.com. They say they're in stock and then when you order them everything ships except for these palettes. It's happened to me twice. <laughs> now but they are gorgeous packaging gorgeous gold um, nice quality feeling packaging this eight pan palette is in the playlist and I like the way they sort of show a representation of the colors with the names on it so there's no confusion which shade is which this is what the playlist palette looks like with a little double-ended brush as well in the palette but I love the ready eyeshadows from Bare Minerals that I've tried already. I've got the quad in the, I think it's called the Truth. 
absolutely beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows. Now I'm not sure, for you Australian girls, you can get Bare Minerals from uh, Strawberry Net. I don't think they've got the ready eyeshadows on there yet. You can um, also, let's see, get Bare Essentials or Bare Minerals, I get mixed up, products from Kit Cosmetics. They did exit the Australian market when they were purchased by Shiseido, but Kit Cosmetics now has the, um, the uh, dibs on it for marketing it in Australia. You are paying a significant price point if you do pick up the Bare Minerals products at Kit Cosmetics and I'm not sure if they are stocking the ready eyeshadows yet either. The other 8 pan palette that I picked up is called the Cocktail Hour. Same beautiful gold luxe packaging, really beautiful quality packaging um, and this has a little acetate sheet with cheers written on it same double-sided brush beautiful full-size mirror palette and this is what that one looks like so a little bit more colorful if you don't mind a bit of color and experimenting with color the cocktail hour is a good one for you some purples and some blues in there with a beautiful peachy color um, if you like more neutrals um, if you like more neutrals, more sort of jewel tones, I guess, then the playlist has probably got more neutral tones in it for you. But beautiful eyeshadows, very nicely pigmented. Really excited to try those. I got a couple of brush sets because they were on sale at beauty.com. I think these were probably around $5 each. Beautiful blending brushes, a nice mini kabuki. Gorgeous. This is called the Bamboo 5-Piece Brush Set. And I also got the Bamboo 6-Piece Eye brush set. Eco tools. Um, I'm most excited I think about this sort of blending brush. You can see it there. Um, but Eco tools make a really decent brush. If you are in Australia, you can pick those up from Priceline just at a higher price point than what you would elsewhere. And I finally discovered, if you've seen me use a double-ended brush in my tutorials, um, it doesn't, it's not labelled anywhere on the brush with what it is, but with enough time on Google, I was able to figure out what the brush was. So I picked up a few of those. I was really happy to find that it was still available. I will say that I hate double-ended brushes. I store all my brushes, you know, standing up like in a cup or a brush holder, and you're always going to crush one end with these double-ended brushes. So I have to store these in a special spot. I sort of store them on their side. This fluffy ended brush is so beautiful that I had to buy a few spares, even though it is double-ended so it's by studio basics which I think you can get in various places and this is called this uh, eye blending and smudging brush it's got got the look smoky eyes written on it it says it blends and smudges eyeshadow so it's got a little small fluffy brush so um, yeah good for in the corner if you're wanting more of a blend than like from a pencil brush that's got a little bit more um, blending ability and then this big beautiful fluffy brush perfect for the creases or perfect for a smoky eye. Absolutely love this brush, but you can't get that one in Australia. I did also get the Rapid Lash um, because it was on, you know, I think it was like 40% off or something on beauty.com at the time. Beauty.com for all you Aussie girls did not ship to Australia. So I'm sure you can get, can get Rapid Lash uh, elsewhere, but looking forward to giving that a try. I have a few lash treatments um, in the mix that I want to uh, try and experiment with. I did also get, these were on sale as well, the Crest I use these um, probably once every nine months. The Crest 3D White White Strips with Advanced Seal Technology. I love these for whitening teeth, obviously not available in Australia. I'm not really familiar with what is available in Australia, but I haven't seen anything that resembles a white strip. And I love how convenient these are. You can get these on eBay uh, for about $50 a box. What I love about these is it's 10 days, I think it is, um, whiter teeth that lasts three months. I use a whitening mouthwash every single day and I think my teeth definitely stay white for longer than three months. This is the two hour express though and I haven't tried this one before. It's got four whitening treatments each with one upper and one lower strip and the two hour ex express is supposed to just be like a single use I think it is. Wear one treatment a day for two hours. So looking forward to seeing if, how they compare with the 10 day course that I usually get with the advanced seal. Something else I'm really excited to get, I do have all of them, the Benefit 
Box Blushes. This is the newest from Benefit called Havana. I'm not sure if they've released it out in Australia yet, um, but Benefit actually, Benefit.com do ship internationally and often they will ship free internationally, I think if your orders reach $100 or more. Now that's not hard to do when you see that Benefit.com do actually charge the US recommended retail prices. So you can actually, you know, swatch Benefit here in stores in Australia, but I would recommend going through Benefit.com if not a, another website. Um, and the Havana looks like that. It is one of those, like the sugar bomb, one that you, you know, mix your brush across all the colors. It's too hard to get a single color out of there. So it does look pretty, but um, I wouldn't try and individually apply any of those shades. Um, it's a little bit darker than Throb, but it's one of those sort of cool toned pinks that will give you more of a glow than a, you know, a color or a warm blush. Um, so it's definitely a warm sort of glow. Um, pink. Looking forward to giving Havana a try. Also picked up, if anyone's familiar with, uh, I think she's called X Christina or something like that. Xtina, sorry, Christina um, with three E's. X T three E's N E R. She is a makeup guru here on YouTube. She's done a tutorial recently on this Maybelline eight pan palette. Not available in Australia anywhere I've seen, but this is called the Sun Baked Neutrals and it includes one of her favorite quads. I think it's this side here. I think she had a favorite quad, quad called Chai or Chai Latte and uh, she found that these four colors on this side of the eight pan palette were exactly the same. I got this for, you know, maybe $7.95 or something uh, on a website in America. So looking forward to giving that a try. I did also pick up, I think this one was from beauty.com on sale, Gemma Kids Foundation, the Light as Air Liquid Foundation, it's SPF 18, and I got that in the shade 03 Light Medium, did a bit of online research to try and figure out what my colour would be, and uh, this one is actually Tanya Burr from Pixie 2 Woo's favourite foundation. I think it is a light to medium type coverage, but looking forward to giving that one a try. I have never tried any of Gemma Kids foundations so we'll see how that compares with everything I did also pick up a Maybelline lasting drama by eye studio uh, gel liner I do have I think the black one in this but this one is in the color eggplant or aubergine and I have not been able to find that at Priceline or Target or anywhere where I would get Maybelline I think I found it in black maybe brown but not in this one and Miss Glamorazzi actually likes this eggplant one quite a bit and she's got similar coloring to me so I thought we would see how the Maybelline eggplant color looks there also a few products from Physicians Formula which are not available in the uh, Australian market um, I actually think that Priceline might be discontinuing Physicians Formula. We may not be able to get that in Australia for much longer and um, the offerings in Australia from Physicians Formula have been slim. Um, the display never looks very nice, they don't keep it stocked and all of the wonderful new products that they've brought out in America have not made it to our Australian shores and I think they, it looks like they're clearancing out the Physicians Formula section at my price line and I have heard rumours that they will be discontinuing continuing that. So I'm really sad to hear that because they are a really great drugstore brand. This is one of their newest offerings to the American market and this is their Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Eyeliner Trio. This is the one for brown eyes and they're apparently just really nice creamy pencils that last a really nice time. They're automatic mechanicals. I also got the one for hazel eyes brown plum and uh, like a blacky looking. They all have built in sharpeners at the bottom as well for you um, girls who are watching from overseas where you can pick these up. And also the one for green eyes has a green, a purple and a black. And um, that Nouveau Cheap, I should say, has posted very good things about these eyeliners and I've never been disappointed with Physicians Formula eyeliners. So looking forward to giving those pencils a try. Also I did pick up something uh, by Terry is the brand. By Terry makes some beautiful cream blushes that I have. They're absolutely gorgeous. This is a luxe brand that you can pick up in Australia from Mecca Cosmetica. Sephora does carry by Terry. Actually, I got this from beauty.com and this would have been during their 
20% off sale. It's a shade that whenever I'm in Mecca Cosmetica, I look at and strawberrynet.com do have some of these pencils or I think the silver pencil available, but not this one that I love. This is called Color Fix Cream Eyeshadow and it's in the shade Blonde Opal. It's one of those twist up crowns and it lasts for ever. So if you like Steeler Kitten, it's a very similar color to the Steeler Kitten type eyeshadow, you know, like a beigey, champagne -y, shimmery color, but it's in a really long lasting crown formula and by Terry just makes beautiful products. So I was happy to get that on sale from beauty.com. Another product that I've never seen on YouTube but was really impressed with how long the liner lasted on my hand is from Revlon and it's their Grow Luscious Lash Liner. This is in the color Graphite. I think this could, this might be able to stand up to the Milani Liquify. I can't be sure. Yeah, so this is a dark gray. I think when I was ordering it from drugstore.com, they did not have the black available, but it's in a nice dark gray. I don't use dark gray eyeliner, so I will give this one a try and see how well it suits my brown eyes, but lasts forever on my hand. We'll see how it lasts on my eyeballs. Um, now, also, another few products from Stila I picked up. You know I'm on an eyeliner kick. I am after, I am on a hunt to find the longest lasting eyeliner ever there was. I got some Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliners in a few of their shades. I got it in Stingray, Lionfish and Purple Tang. Stingray, Lionfish and Purple Tang. The swatches online that I found for those were absolutely beautiful. And I also got a Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. And that's one of those liquid um, pen type pens. And I think that should have really great staying power. I did also pick up a few items from MAC. I got the uh, MAC Strobe Liquid Lotion. I did get a sample of that recently and really liked it. So looking forward to mixing that with a few different foundations and seeing what effect I get with that um, after using the sample. Uh, I did also pick up a MAC Mineralized Blush in, this is in the color Lovejoy. I have um, a few of the mineralized blushes which are absolutely beautiful, but when I went to the MAC counter recently for that complimentary makeup session, she thought she was putting warm sole on my face and I said, oh, I have warm sole and I love it, but um, this is going on quite a bit pinker than what I remember warm sole to be. And she looked at the bottom of it and realized that it's Lovejoy. And it's, it's yeah, definitely pinker than Warm Soul. You can see it there, Lovejoy. Um, it's more of like a muted, a muted rosy type pink, but it's a beautiful shade. And um, so I picked that one up, as well as a lip pencil, the MAC Naked Liner. Haven't heard much about that at all, but the Naked Liner would be a good one for really any color, even, you know, red lips if you wanted to put naked around the outside make sure it's sort of blended um, but I think mainly for the nude colors is why I got that just for you know some of the the colors like flesh pot or myth or even you know some of the Revlon matte lip colors that I have my sister Lainey, God bless you Lainey, when she was, right before she was about to package all of this up and send it to me, she stopped by CVS after seeing Amarix's blog post about the Maybelline Color Tattoo by iStudio Colors. These are Maybelline's version basically of MAC's Paint Pot and I love the MAC Paint Pots. I don't use them as a primer but I use them as an eyeshadow base. I have, I do use them rarely as an eyeshadow on their own. I'll use, you know, I'll, I'll blend them together with like a 217 but I do really like them as an eyeshadow base and seeing the different effects that you get from putting different eyeshadow colors over the top of them so she chose out one for me before I even knew anything about them thank you Lainey um, this is the one in tough as taupe and I think it's emerging it's probably most people's favorite it's certainly the one that you hear about the most my sister has a knack for choosing colors that um, become you know, popular items. Before I'd ever heard of the Urban Decay Naked palette, she snapped one up for me. Before she even knew, before it was ever even popular, she said, I got your Naked palette, you're gonna really want it, and sent it to me. Um, and she knew that the Tough As Taupe would be a fantastic color. So it's one of those um, 
purply taupe matte sort of paint pot colors and it's lovely and creamy we'll see how long they last tim taylor actually did a recent video on these and um, they are getting a really good review that's it there on youtube right now god knows how long they'll take to get to australia or god knows how much we'll be paying for them probably as much as a mac paint pot or more than what americans are paying for a mac paint pot but a nice range of colors um, which is where i think mac is not with their permanent range they don't have a huge paint pot color selection so um, beautiful colors that Maybelline has come out with in the States. Hopefully they'll be coming to Australia sometime soon. I did pick up a, another few of the Z palettes from beauty.com since they were having a sale. And then my girlfriend in America, Kim, who lives near my sister, um, put in some products into my sister's package um, that she of things that she thought I would really like. So, um, really excited to see what these are, Kim. Thank you so much for thinking of me. First thing here is from MAC. It's the Big Bounce Shadow in the shade Reward Yourself. And I really don't know much about the Big Bounce Shadows. I thought, first of all, that they would be like the um, Chanel um, Illusion Dombres, but just recently I've seen some people comment on the Big Bounce Shadows and I realised that they're not at all like the Chanel product. They are definitely a liquid product. I'm not sure why they're called Bounce, but um, it's definitely a liquid product like a cream. They weren't very popular when they came out in one of the MAC collections last year and I think people were having issues applying them and I think I think it's more of like a dab a dab dab type motion than um, you know a finger smudge motion I'm not sure but they dry pretty quickly don't know how well they blend it's a really pretty color though Kim look at that beautiful pink sheen so that is the big bounce in reward yourself if you do find those you might be able to find those in the CCO thank you Kim I'm looking forward to experimenting with that she also picked me up a Nivea kiss of shimmer radiant lip care in SPF 10 fantastic in the pearly shimmer thank you for that kim that will come in really handy oh and a chanel lip liner in the color nude kim what are you doing sending me a chanel lip liner so i have one chanel lip liner in the color beige and that's what nude looks like it's definitely a darker plum um, lip liner than the beige one that i have really pretty i would definitely um, enjoy using that kim thank you very much for that what else is in here Oh, a Buxom Lips uh, lip gloss from Bare Essentials, ID Bare Essentials, in the color Lana. And it looks quite brown here in the tube. Let's see. It looks more like a sheer plum when I pull it out, which is, so, oh, it's beautiful. A really gorgeous color. That's gorgeous. That's it right there, if you can see. Really gorgeous. I can't wait to actually give that one a try. Thank you, Kim. What else is in here? A uh, Urban Decay Ultra Glide Lip Gloss. This is in the color O or Zero. So this is like a very pigmented, very pigmented sort of magenta color. If you can see it there on my knuckles, it looks obviously very glossy and um, yeah, a really sort of more of a vibrant, bright pink. I will enjoy using that. Also some nail colors. Oh, thanks Kim from Essie. Tart Deco, Tart Deco. I actually recently received one of these from uh, from Amy, my friend, and also in Brazilian. That's a beautiful orange. I think I got a sample of Brazilian in a recent uh, subscription box that I got. I'm going to have to double check my um, nail colors. Some Wisp Mini Brush with Freshening Beads. They're awesome. I actually purchased these for a friend when she was going overseas. I thought it would make a really nice little pack for her on the plane when you just want to brush your teeth and you can't get there. It's nice just to have those in your handbag and be able to get all get your teeth all fresh. And then if you remember these Wet n Wild limited edition color icon palettes. Thank you, Kim. Kim picked this up for me in Bake Off contest. Uh, it does include a shimmer pencil. Thank you very much for thinking of me, Kim. As you know, we don't get that in Australia. Um, a Neutrogena Naturals Lip Balm. Haven't seen that at all. That is fantastic. We go through a lot of lip balm in this house. Some Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. They're awesome. I know they're definitely um, well-reviewed on YouTube here. 
what else is in here? A True Blue Spa Shea Butter Super Rich Body Cream. I think this is from, is this from Bath and Body Works? Like this bottle looks familiar. Um, but looking forward to giving that a try. Oh, it smells delicious. Thank you very much for that, Kim. Smells divine. Oh, coconutty. What else is in here? A Cora's Lip Butter in Pomegranate. That's really lovely. Mmm, Cora's Lip Butter. I did get a Cora's Lip Butter in Pomegranate last year and really like that as well as the, um, the Jasmine. And I think they have a mango too, but I don't think I got that one. This is an Urban Decay Eyeshadow in Green Goddess. Oh, look at that. It's like a shimmery type green. This would look fantastic with brown eyes. Can you see that green there? Oh, look at the sheen on that. Gorgeous. You will see that on my eyeballs sometime soon, probably on my blog. A few more items in here. There is a, oh, this is cute. This is a Buxom um, lip color in Brooklyn. You can see it's just a little mini pencil. That's a beautiful shade. Can you see it there? It's like a plummy, plummy type pink. That is definitely a shade I would love to use. And also from Urban Decay, a, an eyeliner, a 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil Mini in El Dorado. That is their gold shade. You see the gold there in between the white and the pink? That's the gold shade, the El Dorado. Gorgeous. Thank you for that, Kim. That will be perfect for the handbag. And lastly, a brooch. And Kim and I know the story behind this brooch. It's a brooch that she's had in her collection and has significant sentimental value to her. And she saw it and she thought that I would enjoy it. And that is a beautiful brooch, Kim. This is um, something fantastic. It would look good on a scarf. It would look good on a dress. You could even use it as a hair accessory, really. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much for thinking of me, Kim. That's it guys for my uh, latest US haul. There probably won't be um, another one very, very soon. I do go a little bit heavy this time of year, obviously leading up to Christmas, there are a lot of new products released. Um, so there's a lot to get excited about and to order up before things run out and limited edition sets run out. And then obviously after Christmas, there's also a lot of sales. So it's probably gonna be a little bit dry here for the next US haul. But thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you do have any questions about any products I can try and help you find if you are in Australia I can try and help you find places uh, to find any of these products where there's a will there is a way if you need any help trying to find anything we can work on that together and uh, thanks so much for watching I hope that you have a beautiful day and we'll see you all again really soon bye